Dragonflies live on every continent except Antarctica. However, you'll see more of them near ponds and lakes. They're aquatic. Female dragonflies deposit their eggs on the water's surface, or in some cases, insert them into aquatic plants or moss. Once hatched, the nymph dragonfly spends its time hunting other aquatic invertebrates. Larger species even dine on the occasional small fish or tadpole. Dragonflies are ancient insects. Long before dinosaurs roamed Earth, dragonflies took to the air. Griffinflies, the gigantic precursors to modern dragonflies, had wingspans of over two feet and dotted the skies during the Carboniferous period over 300 million years ago. Very interestingly, dragonfly nymphs breath through their anus. It actually has gills inside its rectum, and uses them to breathe. The dragonfly nymph pulls water into its anus to facilitate gas exchange. When the nymph expels water, it propels itself forward, providing the added benefit of locomotion to its breathing. Dragonflies have excellent extraordinarily keen vision, that helps them detect movement of other flying critters and avoid in-flight collisions. Thanks to two huge compound eyes. The dragonfly has nearly 360 degrees vision and can see a wider spectrum of colors than humans. Each compound eye contains 28,000 lenses or omatidia. On top of it, a dragonfly uses about 80% of its brain to process all of the visual information it receives. Like all insects, dragonflies are technically ectotherms, are cold-blooded, but that doesn't mean they're at the mercy of mother nature to keep them warm or cool. Dragonflies those habitually fly back and forth employ a rapid whirring movement of their wings to raise their body temperatures. Perching dragonflies, on the other hand, rely on solar energy for warmth, skillfully position their bodies to maximize the surface area exposed to sunlight. Some species even use their wings as reflectors, tilting them to direct the solar radiation toward their bodies. A number of dragonfly species are known to migrate, either singly or en masse. As with other migratory species, dragonflies relocate to follow or find needed resources or in response to environmental changes such as impending cold weather. Green darners, for example, fly south each fall in sizable swarms and then migrate north again in the spring. Forced to follow the rains that replenish their breeding sites, the globe skimmer, one of several species that's known to spawn in temporary freshwater pools, set a new insect world record when a biologist documented its 11,000-mile trip between India and Africa. Male dragonflies fight for territory. Competition for females, almost everywhere, including the dragonfly land, is fierce. Leading male dragonflies to aggressively fend off other suitors. In some species, males claim and defend a territory against intrusion from other males. Dragonflies are masters of flight. They are able to move each of their four wings independently. They can flap each wing up and down, and rotate their wings forward and back on an axis. Dragonflies can move straight up or down, fly backward, stop and hover, and make hairpin turns, at full speed or in slow motion. A dragonfly can fly forward at a speed of 100 body lengths per second, up to 30 miles per hour. Male dragonflies have multiple sex organs. Their copulatory organs, unlike other insects, are on the underside of the abdomen, up around the second and third segments. Dragonfly sperm, however, is stored in an opening of the ninth abdominal segment. Before mating, the dragonfly has to fold his abdomen in order to transfer his sperm to his penis. This makes two mating dragonflies appear as making hearts. That's it for today. Hoping you enjoyed the video as much as we did making it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Popular Science for All.